Hello, I am Ivy from Kopiaste. I would like to show you today how to make Greek Spanakopita. I have already prepared the dough, which is all-purpose flour, extra virgin olive oil, salt, vinegar, and water. I have left it to rest for 15 uh, minutes, or 30 minutes would be better, and then you shape the dough like this. And we cut it in about the size of a small ball. This will make about 10 pieces or maybe more. I have also prepared the filling, which is spinach, red onion, green onion, dill, parsley, eggs, olive oil, and Greek feta. I am using olive oil to brush the filo, as well as to brush the baking tin and to brush it on top. Now whilst I will be making the filo, there will be a lot of noise, so I will not be speaking. I will start my pasta machine, which is attached to the stand mixer, on number one, and I will move it each time to number three, number six, and number seven. That will be a very thin filo, in which, uh, after rolling it out, I will cut it in half, join it, brush it with olive oil, add the filling, and roll it. I think uh, we'll start and see if there's anything else I have to say. First of all, we'll keep the rest of the dough covered with cling film. And flour our working surface with flour. My mixer is fixed to number one. And here goes the noise. I will repeat the procedure as the first piece was a little bit small, so I'm adding more dough to it. If you feel your dough to be sticky, just sprinkle some flour on top and continue. Now this is the final stage where I am passing it from number 7 and then I will cut the filo. Now, cutting the filo in the middle, and joining it.
rotating now. Here's the olive oil. Sorry about this, I need my brush. Now, after adding the olive oil, you can stretch the filo, make it even larger and thinner. I'm adding a generous amount of olive oil in the baking tin. I'm brushing it to go everywhere. Now we add a lot of filling on one side. Start rolling the filo. Brushing the filo in between will make it layered and it will not stick together to make one solid part. Secure the two ends by pressing them together and now you just lift it and twist it. This panacopita is called strifti. Strifti means twisted and it's the easiest way to make a spanakopita. Now I'm going to put this in my baking tin and stretch it to fill the whole tin. I am going to continue with a second third until I fill the baking tin. I am going to brush it with olive oil and bake it at 180 degrees Celsius or 350 Fahrenheit for about an hour until it is golden on top. Thank you for watching this video. Nice to be of any help. Bye.